Hi there. I am super excited to show you some new possibilities that are courtesy of the February 2023 future updates to Power BI. In this case, we're adding a bullet chart or a uh, goal progress bar to the standard out of box Power BI table visual. And this is a game changer for those that are looking to create visuals that follow best practice design standards, such as what Stephen Few promotes in his books. Um, previously, you were able to do this, but it looked very weird because the aspect ratio of this visual piece was forced into a square. And so what you'd end up with is you would, if you tried to make your bar a length that looked right as a bar, uh, it would force your table rows to be very tall and it looked really weird. So in this latest update, what they did was they added a setting to your visual that lets you specify the height and width of the image. So it no longer has to be square. So um, this is really exciting for me. I am going to dive right into it. And I want to mention that the starting point for the DAX that's used in this came from Carrie Colosco's website. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, she's got a ton of great visual customization code snippets that you can download, so check that out. I'm going to go over how to set up this um, bar column specifically. Um, so if you are looking for how to set up the rest of this, like the star icons or the spark lines or whatnot, I've got another video on that topic. So I'll link that in the description as well. All right, let's get started on the demo. Let's set up our DAX measure first. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. And I'll try and put the text of this in the video description also. Let me make the size bigger. But the problem is, is that YouTube strips out these greater than less than signs. And so um, sometimes it, it makes it a little tricky to get it in there, but I'll do my best. So what this is doing uh, is it is setting up some variables. So the first variable I'm using is the, the actual and the target. So this is the latest year sales measure. And this is just a sum of sales for the latest fiscal year. And then the goal, so what are um, the sales reps trying to reach for that same year? And Carrie, in her example, has a third variable for the um, plan, which is the size of the kind of shaded box behind those. Um, my data doesn't have plan numbers, so I commented that out. Um, and so what we're doing here is we're basically just setting up the uh, the max for those things. So the max target and the max actual. And then if I come down here, this is commented out because it has to do with that plan above. So that is not used, but I left it in in case you wanted to use it. And then this is setting the basically the length of the bar and the position of the vertical line for the goal. And this number here is basically it's going to be about two pixels less than whatever you set your width of your bullet chart column to be. So in this case, my bullet chart column is 120 pixels. So I'm setting this to 118 so that it gives a little bit of space for the vertical line. And then we are returning um, Carrie in her example, she had a um, has one value DAX statement that prevented the bar from showing up in the totals area at the bottom of the table. I am I took that out because I actually want that to show up. So um, this is the SVG down here. So this is what's producing the image and it's using the references to the variables that we made above. Um, so in Carrie's example, she had here a reference to the plan. I'm not using the plan, so I took that out and just put in the width that I wanted the background area to be. So this should match whatever you set the width in your visual settings to. And then for this line, we are using um, the percentage fill above. So this is the bar line here. And the X and the Y are the position. So Y is the distance from the top of the cell and um, the height 
is here so we want this to be 10 tall you can fiddle with these and see if you like it to be a different size and then this is the color of the bar so this is like a medium gray hex code number and then for the last line we are looking at the vertical bar that shows the goal so um this has got the same thing going on with the x and the y and the, um, except it's using for the X, the variable above for the position, and then the, um, the width, so this is like the thickness of the line, so if you like a thicker line, you can change this to like three or four or something, and then the height, so how tall is the line, and this is the fill color, so this is like an orange color, and then um, the important step that comes after this that we want to do is to change the data category for this measure. So we're going to go over to uh, measure tools here. It should pop up when you select it. If it doesn't, just click on it. And we're going to set the data category. So what this does is it prevents your code from being displayed as text. So we don't want our column to show this. We want it to show an actual picture. So we're just going to change this to image URL here. Okay, so now in our table, let's set the image height and width here. So we're gonna go to the settings pane and then image size. And we're gonna set the height to 24 and the width to 120. And you can fiddle with these if you want to, just make sure to update the bits in the DAX measure that are referencing them. Otherwise, you're, you end up with like the bar, you know, way up here and the line way down there or something like that. So we're going to set those and then we are going to make sure that our row padding is zero because um, zero is not the default for table visuals. And if you have row padding, it's going to um, it's going to add an extra height to your rows that you don't want. So I'm just going to search the padding in here and I have it set to zero. So that is good. And now I'm just going to drop that measure into the table. And there we go. You'll see at the bottom, this total is showing the overall goal progress and uh, something that I don't super love is that you still can't turn off the tooltip on these things. So like <laughs> it's got the code when you hover on it. Um, if you go to turn it off, uh, general tooltips, it's already off. So um, what you could do is make a custom tooltip that uses one of your report pages as the tooltip visual. Um, I don't super love that on tables because it'll show the same thing no matter what column you're hovering over, um, but it, it does get around that. So, And if you're curious about how I got these numbers to show as millions instead of the full number that is in your visual settings under specific columns, so you can select a column and then set the display units for that specific column. And it looks a lot better than having, you know, 10,365,452 or something like that in your column, which is a little bit much. All right, so that's it for the demo. I'm going to put the code in the comments or do my best to put the code in the comments. And thank you for watching.